Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on percentages. In this video we'll look at a couple more skills which are percentage increase and percentage decrease. So these are two fundamental skills on the topic of percentages. So for example, Jane deposits £1,360 into her bank account which has an interest rate of 2.2% per year. Assuming that she does not deposit or withdraw any money, how much money will she have in a year's time? Uh, well, when we do a percentage increase, we want to be multiplying our original value, uh, which is this £1,360. We multiply that by a value which is greater than 1, because uh, if you multiply it by less than 1, it'll decrease. If you multiply it by 1, it'll stay the same. So it has to be a number that's greater than 1. Uh, so that number, let's get it as a decimal. Uh, so we want the decimal equivalent of 2.2%. So first of all, 2.2% percent is equal to 0.022 so if we add this value to 1 so 1 plus 0.022 that gives us our multiplier uh, which is 1.022 okay uh, so now if we just multiply our original value of 1360 pounds by 1.022 that will give us the amount in the account after one year uh, so 1360 times 1.022 that is equal to £1,389.92. So 1389.92. Uh, so that's how much is in the account after one year. So moving on then, what about percentage decrease? Uh, so for example, if after one year, Jane decides to withdraw 25% of the total £1,389.92, how much money will be left in the account? Uh, well, because it's a decrease this time, uh, we have to multiply by a number which is less than one. Uh, so first of all, let's convert this 25% into a decimal. Uh, so 25% equals 0 0.25. Uh, so uh, now we need to minus this from 1. So 1 minus 0 0.25 is 0 0.75. So this is the value uh, that, we'll be, that we will be multiplying our original amount by, which in this case is the £1,389.82. So uh, let's do that now. So 1,389.92 times 0 0.75 uh, will give us the amount left in the account. Uh, so we've got that number stored in the calculator from the last question. So if we multiply by 0 0.75, uh, that gives us £1,042.44. Uh, so that is the amount that is left in the account once she withdraws 25%. So being able to work with percentages is an essential skill, uh, so it's important that you get a lot of practice. You can do so with our online exam, it's available through our revision platform, and if you take the test you'll find loads of different questions and you get instant feedback on all of them. So this is really good if you want to keep track of the areas that you're weakest at and where you need to improve and so on. Uh, so if you're interested then click the link below, it will take you straight there.